Marcus. Marcus! This is the third ambush in a month. The revolt of the Pannoni is contagious. The other tribes will follow their example, threatening all our caravans on the way to the east. I know, Quintilius Severus. No later than tomorrow, the Tribune Marcus Ventidius will lead the Seventh Legion into Pannonia. One legion is not enough, Masala Corvina. The Pannonic tribe led by Batone consists of thousands of warriors and will be difficult to vanquish. I cannot take any more men from Sirmium and the other border garrisons. All I ask is, when you reach Rome, remind Tiberius that the weakest points in the empire are in the east. And not in Asia, as he so fervently insists. Tell him the situation is serious. The Tribune Fentidius is coming here, my lady. Greetings, Julia. As you can see, I'm still alive and well. Welcome back, Marcus. I heard you're about to leave again. When do you go? Tomorrow. This time you'll be gone for long? Perhaps. I have no idea. I follow orders. If you'd like me to, I'll speak to my father. Perhaps someone else could go. Julia. The daughter of a governor should not even suggest such things, even if... Say it. Never mind. Is it so difficult to say? Marcus, don't you love me just a little? I've been so happy hoping. I keep hoping that one day you'll really marry me. Stay. No, Julia, I can't. I must go now. Marcus! name of Rome and her Caesar, the Emperor Tiberius, I entrust you, Marcus Ventidius, with the insignia of the Seventh Legion. of darkness, let not my people suffer the winds of war, the pain of hunger, or the terrible cold of death. Long live Magno, brave chief of the 
Commander Pannoni. I, Magdo, chief of all the people of Pannonia, shall punish you, Batone, because you have compromised the peace of our land forever. Your temper has caused us to become enemies of Rome, and that is the reason that you are here. You're old, Magdo. And you are scared. And your fear has made us slaves. That's what we're fighting about. Now it's got to end. Our people must choose between us. You choose Mago, and you'll be sold, taken with the spoils of Rome. Choose a side, Ammon, and you'll get freedom, not slavery. <laughs> Women and children shall go for safety to the town of Kirsch. I want the men to come with me to storm. devoted to you, Father. It means war, Helen. Yes, I heard. Get ready. Go to the sacred town of Kirsch. I was ready some time ago. But Tony has deliberately provoked this war. I chose him to be your future husband, Helen. I now ask you not to wed him. You have always been my wise counselor and given me good advice. You gave me my life. Do with it what you will. The man has lost his senses and lusts for blood. He will not give our people freedom but death. I will return, and you will be waiting. Be my bride.
They have spared no one. It's pitiful. Don't kill him. Make him tell us where they've hidden all the women and children. You heard him talk. In the town of Kirsch. They've been taken to Kirsch. We'll leave the Legion here to bury the dead. I need only a few horsemen to come with me. Join the rest of your, your people. I do as you command. My father was wrong. You Romans know only about the whip. And you'll taste it if you don't move. Sermium, under escort. I'm going back to the fort. and warn Magdo and Batone. Romans war, they'll get it. Are we agreed? Yes. You remain guarding the fort. Let me go and free the women. Uh huh. and wish to rest. The children cannot walk anymore. Hurry, I say. We'll camp here, then. All right. You oh. can rest. What do you want? In the name
the name of Magdo, chief of all the tribes of Pannonia, I request the renewal of our pact of peace, devotion, and subservience to Rome. Magdo wishes to apologize to you for all that has happened, and swears on the gods of his forefathers it won't occur again, ever. I may accept your proposal after I have spoken to Magdo. He's waiting at the village. This sacred effigy will guarantee you and your escort a safe passage. Thank you. You may go. It's not a trap. The risk is great, Marcus. Yes, I know. But I have to take it. If I can convince Magdo, there'll be no more war. And that we... we must all hope... Magdo. Here I am in command. Have you the authority to renew the peace pact with Rome? <laughs> you ask me if I have the authority? I could feed you to the vultures. I was given this for protection, an ancient symbol, as a guarantee. It's true. Only they forgot to tell you that you have to earn the right to it by putting your courage to the test. You respect our laws. Come, Roman. Take off his boots. Remove your helmet. After you have crossed the flames barefoot three times, you will have earned the right to safe conduct home again. If you refuse, you and your men can expect to die. Where is Magdo? What has happened to him? He's gone to release those hostages. Had you forgotten them? Come on, there's the ladder. Start climbing. Do you have such tender skin?
Free. Get going.
father. You must be Magdo. Yes, I am. I went a long way to see you, to make peace. Now, it's too late. Publius, I want you to take the cavalry back to the fort. Go. I will escort the hostages to Sirmium. Send a messenger to Masala to warn of our arrival. We'll leave at once. Leave the women and children. They don't deserve this. It's the consequence of war. I cannot change that. Marcus Ventidius has returned from Pannonia. Pleased to welcome you back to Simeon, Marcus. Welcome. Greetings to you. Look. These prisoners will serve as hostages. Perhaps these barbarians will behave if we hold their women and children in custody. You behaved rather stupidly, Magdo. Not the right way to make peace with Rome. If this is a Roman peace, I want no part of it. Our peace will come when we cast off your yoke. Have them put in cells. Not the girl, Masala. She is Magdo's daughter. She could serve Julia. Your daughter. Marcus. Julia. It's good to see you again. That girl there, her name is Helen. She is yours. She will serve you with devotion. Capernia, take her inside. wasn't it to your liking? If I am permitted, I'll show you something more exciting. You cannot force her to dance. She is not a slave. 
She's a barbarian. Magdo, the allies of Rome have demanded your death from the governor, Masala. I'm sure you can guess his answer. Your only chance is to refer an appeal to Tiberius directly. I can dispatch it to Rome tonight. You want me to grovel, lose dignity? I have no wish to live as a slave in the Subura. No. I'd rather be dead, but tell the emperor that I belong to a dying race, and I beg that you leave us in peace to live and die like the trees of the forest. I'm sorry that the fate of your people has been compromised by Batoni. Batoni, alas, is the consequence of your policy. The man's ambitious, bloodthirsty, and intolerant. No, I don't approve of him, but it's wrong that an entire people should pay for his mistakes. Allow me to see my father. Why are you asking me? I thought you might have pity, but I'm wrong. Helen, I'll do what I can. I'll speak to the governor. Why does his daughter hate me? Why did she want me to dance in front of you to humiliate me? Why? I tried to stop her. I tried. Yes, I know. I know you did. I have here Magdo's plea to be spared, which cannot be sent to the Emperor without the consent of you who represent Rome's allies. For this reason, you have been summoned here to this meeting. What is your opinion of the matter? 
The Marcomans have never suffered at the hands of the Pannoni, so I propose that Magdo's life be spared. We in Illyria have suffered a great deal, being constantly attacked by hordes of marauders, so I think he should be condemned to death. One moment, Masala. I would like that appeal sent to Rome, and I invoke the Chestian law. The consensus must be unanimous. We seem to have differing opinions. That must be taken into consideration. The Chestian law is applicable in Rome, not out here in the provinces. I'm not answerable to Tiberius before making decisions at this level. It's a military matter, not covered by civil law. I, Marcus Flavius Ventidius, legal proconsul, do ask in the name of the Seventh Legion, of which I am commander, the application of the Chestian law. All right, Magdo's appeal will be delivered. The death sentence is suspended. Marcus Ventidius, I am grateful that you supported my proposal. Thank you. Good luck. I think it's fitting for the daughter of a barbarian chief. Put it on. That's an order. Tanya, dress her. Julia, you'd better tell your Marcus that from now on he must be more prudent in his actions. He's far too impulsive. He had no right to defend that barbarian. His attitude could jeopardize his career. Remind him. No doubt you heard what Marcus did. And I know whose fault it is. Yours and no one else's. It's pathetic how you twisted him around your finger, making enemies of those who've always protected him. Do you know what this means? The end of a career that he built on his honor. Is that what you tried to do? I didn't think of that. Congratulations. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes. It suits you not to think. Surely, if you love him, you don't want him to be hurt. No one can be that selfish. You've no right to. Not ever. Helen, Marcus is my only motive for living. I've suffered so much mental torture. That man is all I've got. I need nothing more. All I can do is ask. Leave him alone. I promise you I'll help you to save your father. 
and give you the chance to escape. I beg you. Oh, do go. Please. I never intended to cause you such pain. Please forgive me. Be quick, don't waste time. Tanya, something's missing here. Where's the ring? Summon me, Masala? You requested application of the Chestian law, didn't you? And look what's happened. The prisoners have escaped in gratitude. How was I to know it would... Well, it has, and they're gone. You'll have to find an answer for the Senate when you reach Rome. Prepare for departure. You will leave Sirmium as soon as possible. to know what it has been used by. You stole it. 
I did not steal it. I am a humble and very devoted slave. It was given me for a service I rendered to an extremely important lady. Who? It's complicated. <laughs> speak, but, damn you uh, thief, right. speak! I'll speak, but it will depend on what you give me. Follow me. His is a glance that could impale you and isolate you in time. The light of his eyes is pure and bright as the reflected sun. They glow deep like the cool water in a forest pool, and when Fathom proved that at the bottom lies his soul, so great is their beauty that I know no other that can match them, and surely none there is in all the world. Leave us, girl. Here, I return your ring. It's worth more than you got for it. You cannot judge what I did. I was given it. It's my own. Your father thought I was the one who helped them escape. Such suspicions in the minds of my superiors could damage my reputation. It was selfish of you, Julia. To hurt your honor as a soldier was certainly not my intention. You must believe I had your interest at heart. I didn't intend to act like a woman who had her feelings hurt. But it's only human nature. I didn't stop to think that my actions could harm your career and that my dignity was compromised. Please, try to understand me. I do, Julia. You only thought of yourself. If you continue to be so selfish, you can forget me. Your father knows nothing of this. Goodbye, Julia. I wish you luck. It's late, my lord. May I retire? You may. Father, I have to speak to you. Then speak. I want you to hear a confession of my guilt. I helped the prisoners escape. You. Father, let's go home again. I beg you. Julia. Julia! Not many, but together with the veterans in the fort, there should be enough to do the job. I want the complete destruction of the Pannoni. So be it. Good luck, Marcus. I hope you can forgive my misjudgment of you.
But Tony's here. I'm tired, Helen. The time has come to plan for the future. You must marry the man who will be chief of the tribe when I am gone. <laughs> the headman have chosen Batone as my successor. I haven't come here just for that. He is the most powerful of the tribal chieftains. It is written that the daughter of the chief will wed whoever takes his place. That is our custom. seem pleased to see me. You will marry me for better or worse at full moon. That is my people's custom, so I will obey it. Reinforcements of Roman soldiers have arrived at the fort, commanded by the tribune Marcus Ventidius. Our best solution is to descend on the very heart of Pannonia, passing through the gorge at Takara. Marcus, you're not listening. All right, we go through the gorge of Takara. Martius, you check supplies. Cestus, you remain on duty here. sent by Marcus Ventidius to see you. Were you sent to suffocate me? Yes, to speak to you. Where is he? I have a horse for you. What does he want? He will tell you. I can't go. Helen, Marcus knows about your deal with Julia. Is it a long way? Come. Thank you for coming. Helen, we're going to invade your territory. No later than tomorrow, we set off for Takara. Your people must be destroyed. Why? Why must they be? Orders. There's still one hope. Talk to your father. 
Helen, if you can persuade your father to swear allegiance to Rome, you'll all be spared. Even if he accepts, it would be useless. Batoni would lead the people to revolt and take over my father's position as head of Pannonia. And at the new moon, I will become his bride. Marcus. I love you, Marcus. I will try to speak to him, and will convince him. I will try. It's the last chance we have to save our tribe from extinction. They still hold most of our women and children hostage. One false move from us, and it would mean the end for all of them. You should have thought about that when you escaped from Sirmium. I refuse the Roman's offer. You will remain here, Magdo. Leave the rest to me. It will be suicide. They'll scream down on us from the gods of Takara and destroy... Father, no! Don't go on. <laughs> hmm. You never mentioned that before. Takara Gorge. Well, they'll have a surprise. No! They're not going to take the Takara Gorge. I know because... <laughs> They're going to come the other way, I'm sure, and take the river crossing. I beg you, Batoni, believe me. That's what I found out. I swear it's the truth. Marcus, Pannoni are abandoning the villages and the forest. I went to the cave, then came back by the river route, but there was no sign of the girl or of Magdo. I could go back to the river. Saddle the legion. We leave at once. the strength to do what you must. Help! The house is on fire! Help! Fire! Open this door! Help! Open up! Open this door! Run, Helen! Run! I'll hold it! Thank you. 
This is where the Takara region starts. Anonia lies over the mountain range. The gorge is down there. We'd better send in a patrol. It seems too calm to me. You're right. I don't like it. Go on. for you. We'll draw them into the open. Take her to safety. Back, we can attack them in the great forest. For me, this is the time. Come on, attack!
In the name of the people of Pannonia and my father, who was their chief, I renew our allegiance to Rome and our devotion and love for her emperor, who shall henceforth be obeyed. I have requested Caesar to make the country of Pannonia a part of the constitutional republic of the Roman Empire. And I call upon you to govern her, Marcus Ventidius. Peace has returned to your country, Helen. Now you must keep that peace. I will, if Marcus is always close to me. <laughs> 